Hello and welcome to the Methley Joint Railway. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Castleford Site Station. Along the route we're going to be looking for things like this, this and this. So hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well, I hope you're keeping safe, I hope you're keeping well and I hope you're all enjoying the videos that I'm putting out. I've got a bit of a spring in my step today because it is absolutely beautiful weather for the first time in ages. And I mean, it's been nice, but it's still been cold. And obviously we've been in lockdown, so we, we can't really do much about that. But this is the first time I've been able to get out where it's beautiful and we're allowed. So I'm happy to be here. I've got my shorts on for once and no jacket. Great, bingo. And we're on the Methley Joint Railway. We're just at the other side of the last Methley station. So you've got the Methley station that I showed you, the beautiful station house. If you haven't seen that video, then it's the one before this. But we were looking at the Methley station building, which is just up there. And as you can see, the line continues down here. And we're gonna go that way now, all the way down towards Castleford and the Castleford Cut Syke station. So down here, I'm not really sure what to expect because it, on Google Earth, if you look on Google, it's completely covered over with trees, so you can't really tell what's left and what isn't. And I've never been down here before. However, I've been told there is quite a few things left down here. Significant things. Hopefully, anyway. But you know what people are like, they get rid of things and things fall down and just in a space of a few months they can all disappear. But we're going to keep heading down here and hopefully we're going to find well, you probably already know anyway, but we're going to find these relics. Now, I know for definite there is a viaduct. Uh, I'm not sure what state it's in, but there is a viaduct down here that I'm told is still intact across the river, the River Calder. So hopefully we're going to see that. Uh, there is some station platforms at the other end and maybe something more. And also there might be a bridge or two down here as well. So fingers crossed we're going to find them. So I'm going to keep heading on. At the minute, it's a nice uh, gravel pathway. And I'll come back to you when I find anything significant. And I think we're about to come up to something now. I can just see a hump just up there. That could be a bridge. So we're a bit closer. And I think I was right. This looks like some kind of a bridge. Um, I'm presuming, well, this is the track bed. Just trying to work out what would have gone underneath here. Maybe this is the other main line. We'll find out in a minute. It's looking like it. Let's have a look down there. Could it be just a lane? No, it's just a track, a farmer's track. Oh, you can see the other main line over there on a viaduct. So that must cross further up there somewhere. So yeah, for some reason there's a quite a wide bridge here. This is all that's left over the track. Now this could have been another branch line coming off here, which is why it's so wide. It could have split here. Yeah, let me check the map and I'll confirm that with you. And I'll come back to you, but I'm going to keep pushing on anyway. Yeah, so it was absolutely correct what I said. It was actually the other way around though. It didn't split, it joined. So right about there, you would have had two lines coming in. So one was from the main line joining this one here. So the main line would have been on the left and it would have joined just there on the bridge. That's why the bridge is wider. Now, this viaduct I was telling you about that's remaining on this line, which crosses the River Calder, uh, I can see it coming up ahead and it looks in better shape than what I thought it was. I got told it was a bit dilapidated and maybe unsafe. But seeing as there's a nice gravel path down, I've got a feeling that they've upgraded this and the bridge as well. So we'll find out in a minute. So we're just going up a slight embankment now towards the viaduct and uh, it's hard to imagine that when you hear that you're in the middle of this huge junction of railway lines but if you keep looking in the trees in the distance you can see viaducts and old lines and some of them are still used obviously you can see all these lines crossing everywhere it's hard to comprehend how big this junction was i'm going to turn you around like i said it's looking in a modern state these days but i'm glad it's still here Obviously this fence is all new and it's been tarmacked. The pictures that I saw of this, it was all dilapidated and it was all wooden boards that were falling through. 
If you look over there, you can just see the other viaduct over there, which is the branch line that split off this one to join the main line down there. And that still is used today. You've got the M62 just beyond that over there. This is a river calder down here, and you can see the original bridge wall there, the viaduct wall. I've obviously got rid of that now. There's uh, an original wall there as well. But it's starting to look really nice up here. I've picked the perfect day for it as well. I was expecting it to be a bit miserable today, but definitely isn't. Look how nice that is. Of the lines that I've covered so far, this is the only one where I found something as significant as this and station buildings as well. So I'm looking forward to doing more because I know that a lot of the other lines have many, many more things left. These ones not so much, but this one surprised me actually. So it started off down the other end and I was saying how there was very little left in the way of remains and relics and it was actually a bit disappointing. But coming this side, there's far more, far more than the East West Yorkshire. So I'm really surprised at this side, but picked a beautiful day for it. So what I'm gonna do is just show you around here a bit more and then I'm gonna head straight up and uh, if I come across anything else, I'll show you that before we get to the station. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna try and make my way down the side of the viaduct because I've got to see what's underneath it. I wanna see the architecture, um, but it's quite steep. So I'll see you down there. So just as I suspected, it's absolutely stunning down here. Look at this. Still looks in good condition. I've just come in off the uh, side of the banking where the viaduct is. There's quite a few uh, blocks here, or boulders. These to me look like the uh, original edges on the bridge up there, the walls. Definitely uh, cut stone anyway. Right, so I thought that was actually better than what I was thinking. I actually thought it was going to be some kind of a cast iron viaduct or a uh, sort of a girder bridge, but it wasn't. It's a nice, beautiful stone bridge. It's actually better than what I thought. So what I'm gonna do is continue even further down the line. Hopefully we're gonna find some more things like that. Just while we're here, I've got a funny feeling there was some kind of an underpass here. You can see where it's all been filled in there. The path dips down, or the track dips down there. And it dips down there as well. I've got a feeling this would have been level here. And this would have been some kind of a farmer's access underpass. It's definitely been filled in or changed. So we're reaching a point on the track. Just walked along the back of these houses here, just outside Castleford. So this would have been the track bed behind these houses. And um, we're reaching another point here where there's another bridge. And this now crosses the uh, main line here which is the second one, I think. Now, as you can see, we've got a brand new bridge here, which is now a footpath. And then down there, you can see the remains of the old one. So let's get a bit closer. You can see the old uh, wall there. The stand on the fence. And you can see the old abutments down there. So this bridge is a little bit higher than the original one. Yeah, you can clearly see that that was the old bridge. They basically took the top of it off. It obviously wasn't safe anymore. And they built this one. This is now the uh, Castleford Greenway Cycle Bridge. Nice modern graffitied bridge. Just look up there, there's the main line. And again, you can see the wall down there.
And this is the other side, straight through the fence. So you can see there, the other side of the bridge. So the track level would have been obviously here. I do love it when they uh, keep things like this and you know they don't destroy it. Most of these bridges have just been demolished now and they built houses on them and you know a lot of it is unrecognisable these days. They tend to destroy a lot of the old architecture but in this instance they haven't and I like that. They've kept it and turned it into something fit for today. So it's now a nice straight cycle path which can be used to go all the way from Castleford probably through to Leeds if you follow it. So it's a nice cycle route if you want to take the back the back way. Um, yeah, I just love it when they uh, reuse things to change its purpose. And then just out of the blue on the route is another bridge. This time this carries the main L639 through Castleford over the railway line. And again, still intact. Still used as a road bridge today. Very nice. Here's a view from the other side. And then we've got another one. This is the Lumley Street which crosses here. Again, an existing road. in the trike. Nice triple span on that one. So we're almost on the uh, home stretch now. I believe the station, the old Castleford station, the Cutsike station, obviously not the main Castleford station, this is what they called Castleford Cutsike, is just down here at the end. And then what I'm going to do when I film that, I'm going to continue just a bit further down where it joined the main line down there. And I, I'm told there's some tracks in the road still. So we'll have a look at those as well. We are coming to the uh, station very shortly. But I've just been talking to uh, a fella up there. Um, again, he asked me what I was doing. I told him I was filming the old railway. He said, oh, I remember it right well, right well. Telling me everything about it. Uh, and he was talking about the station here, he said a lot of the houses around here have got remnants from that station in their gardens and things. He said he knows that one of his friends has got the old gas lamps that used to be in the station in his garden. And there used to be a, a couple of markers, stone markers as well, with, uh, you know, directions and mileage on. They've got one of them in their garden. And uh, But he's not convinced that there's much left of this station. But he hasn't been down here for a long time, so I'm hoping he's wrong. And we find something. I'm going to keep pushing on and I'm going to do a good explore and find out. So see you in a minute. Okay, so I've reached the point of where the uh, station should be. And I must say, it's not looking good at this stage. Uh, this is, you can see the main road down there. They used to come up a ramp, which would have been this one here, to the station, which should be here. Now, there is a lot of overgrowth up there, so I'm going to go up there and have a look. But he did say he didn't think there was anything left. And now I saw a picture taken a few months ago that showed um, the old platforms and things still here. So I'm going to have a dig round because I, I can't believe that this is completely gone. But he did say because they've done this new cycleway now, they might have re, re you know moved a lot of this earth round. But this is the bridge that would have crossed towards the junction. So let's have a dig round. I'm going to try rummage as I do, but although I have got shorts on today, so it's probably not a good idea that I'm going to be going in nettles and things, but I'm still going to do it for you. I've got my uh, shorts on today, so I'm going to be heading up this way. But so far, it's looking like he was correct. There's a lot of rubble underneath here, so I'm, I've got a feeling they have just turned it all over and piled it up at the side of the uh, cycle track. I'm going to continue looking. It should. Well, there was a huge station building here somewhere as well, and some platforms. They could be underneath here. I'm down on the uh, side of the road now. 
And uh, looking at the old map, this is the original station access here. So you would have come up here. And the main station building would have been on the right hand side here with the platforms right in front of us. And one on the other side as well. But it is looking like, as you can see, it's all been sort of piled up at the side, all the rubble here. And they've got this retaining wall. So it's looking like they have just totally destroyed the lot, which is such a shame. Because I know not even that many years ago, there was platforms here. And uh, yeah, you could tell it was a station. I'm gonna try a bit further down. I'll just show you this picture now and it'll show you what it was like. I'm not quite sure what year this was, but it'll show you what was left not so long ago. And it looks like there was station platforms just in the head here, like visible, and also on this side. It's a National Cycle Network Memorial there. Not sure what's up here. Yeah, I've got a feeling this is the uh, rubble pile that I'm stood on. Such a shame. Yeah, it's looking like the guy was correct. I mean, he did say to me in his thick Castleford accent, but I'll not find out up there. And I think he was right. Just come down to where the platforms would have started. And yeah, it's just all overgrown. Nothing at all. Not even a stone. It's a bit like when we did the uh, Kipax lock on the uh, Aaron Calder. And there was absolutely nothing left. I can't even see anything in the bushes. Well, what an anticlimax that was. I was getting more and more excited as we were getting towards the station because I kind of had it in the bag that the station was still here. So I'm thinking, at least I can show them that when we get there. And then we found all the viaducts and the bridges and all that. I'm thinking, this is going to be a brilliant video. We saw all that and then we get to the end and there's absolutely nothing. Now I've just found an uh, old concrete post there covered in uh, ivy. That's about it really. That's the only thing that remains of what was here. That could have been like, a, there was another one there actually. Just there. And another one. I think these are fence posts. So this would have been the uh, back of the platform, what I'm stood on right now. But yeah, a bit of an anti-climb actually. Never mind. So I'm going to continue further down and we're going to go find out where it met the uh, main line down here. And I'm told there's some tracks still there. Fingers crossed anyway. So I'm just up on the uh, bridge that crosses the road just at the side of the station here. So the station would have been a bit of a higher level there. So obviously I'm looking at it from down there, but it would have been this level that I'm on now. So again, they've reduced the land around it. You can see the old bridge wall there. And I'm told the old station path is just uh, down here as well. It would, have, it would have accessed the platforms from this side, just through here. In the trees. You can see clearly in the trees, there's nothing there. So let's keep pressing on this way. So just before we reach the end of the track and I show you these uh, remaining tracks left in the floor. I want to say a big thank you to everybody for all your comments on the last videos that I've been putting up. Uh, I really enjoy reading them. Gives me something to look forward to, I say. But thank you very much for commenting on the videos. And uh, yeah, it's great to know what you guys think. And I, I honestly don't mind criticism either. I'm not one of these people that doesn't like to be helped in any way. I, I don't mind learning things along the way. So uh, thanks for them. We're just approaching the end of it now. And the uh, cycle track has disappeared. And it's now a wooded track, although it's still marked as a cycle path. Not that I'd want to come down here. Just in the uh, trees at the side, there's the, a lot of the old concrete cable ducts there for the cables at the side of the railway. It's the only thing I've found down here, really. So yeah, it's heavily wooded now. But we're almost at the end where it met the main line. I'm hoping, in fact, you can see the main line. Oh, you can't, but I can. You can just see the main line just there. We're about to join it. I'm hoping. I can get around it somehow. 
So we've come to the end. Here's the main line right on my left. And you can still see the ballast down here. So this is the exact point where it would have uh, merged in there. And going this line here at Castleford. Yeah, nothing much in the way of relics, just uh, ballast on the floor. Another cable ducked over here. Right, so I'm going to take you to the uh, crossing. This is where the Methage Railway joined this line and then they both crossed the road down here. So now we're heading back up the branch line. But if you'd have continued down that way on the main line, it would have taken you to the new escape complex, the ski slope and that at Castleford, Glass Houghton. It would take you down there to that station, which is a new station. Okay, so I've reached the end of the junction where the Method Joint Railway joined the main line. You can just see the main line over there as it crosses the road here. And they still have a working junction box there. I think these are for the gates. There must have been a few accidents here, but this is where the line is. This is exactly where the Method Joint Railway would have joined here. And then they would have both crossed the road here. So that's the final section of the Method Joint Railway. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to find much, but I found a lot more on this one than I have done in previous ones. And I'm hoping on the future ones we'll find more as well. Thank you very much for joining us on that. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you in the next videos, whatever that will be. I'm not sure if it's a railway canal or something completely different. It all depends on the weather and obviously the current situations. So we'll see what happens with that. But thank you very much for joining us. But please subscribe to the channel, comment on the video down below and give the video a like as well. That'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.